Hey there, how y'all doing this morning? I was listening to um, this guy, this character, the 107, um, talking about Richard Nixon. I remember that. I remember him. Interesting story. I thought, you know, um, it's too bad, but I don't. I, it's probably an inappropriate way to to use those kinds of words in the context that I was just experiencing. What he had to say when you think about going back in time of stuff that's already happened and the relevance that it has to time space, how, how, how events occur or the speed at which we're experiencing what we're experiencing and how change takes place. And then we experience those changes by being connected to everybody at the cellular level. Right? So then I began looking at the items that are around me as artifacts and like a frame up on the wall. And, and I, I realized that the frame is made out of wood. So somebody cut down a tree. Somebody was using their electrons to do that. How long did it take before that frame ever got up on that wall? Right? How long did that actually take? Right? Because you got all the worker bees that are in the process, got to cut down the tree. Right? And then you got to produce it in a way in which you can make a window frame out of it. Then you have the canvas and then the artist who's going to produce the painting and, and all that and, until it finally gets to a marketplace. And then somebody's going to use their electrons. Now you're into the value of the electrons. Now you're into standards. Remember the gold standard, silver? And then the gold and the silver is based on what? And that changes, that fluctuates. Now you're into the decimal point, the floating decimal point right, a buoyancy in water worlds, and what's known as the electrical density wave, a density wave of consciousness. So um, it makes it self-evident that there are units of consciousness uh, that are inverters, which simply means that they're chasing electrons at a high rate of speed. So they need donors, electrical donors, in order to maintain what they're aware of. Otherwise, the electron thieves, the inverters, what happens to them? They implode. So in order for them to maintain what it is they're aware of in electrons as electrical density consciousness, they need a source of electrons because they are not the source of electrons. We are. And that's, that's how you can measure how fast things change in your energetic environment on the visual holographic terrain, right? So it'd be cool if somebody did a, a video on electrical density waves of consciousness. It's experiencing itself, right? In the realm in which it finds itself operating a DNA operating system, environment, the energetic environment we find ourselves in, right? And what best serves us? And the speed at which we're experiencing what? change over time space vectors and the direction that we're all going in on a cellular level how about that 